All right, I'm on hole number 15 of the City of Light tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division, and this is hole number six of Parc de Paris. And I am coming out here, and I'm going to use a... I'm going to use a Quasar just because I'm trying to save my Kingmakers in this account. These holes here I've got enough practice in feel comfortable with where I'm at so I'm gonna I explored the shot on this hole to the left and it's not that uh, and I the deal is is it's a little bit harder to set up it's not so much harder in Ricky but like if you're a pro or expert or master where you got a much higher win it's gonna be a lot hard, harder to set that shot up to the to the left than the shot to the right and I don't see this as being a huge Albi hole but I want to make sure I absolutely positively get an eagle because there's going to be a pretty large percentage of the people that play this hole. And I mean, probably, you know, 10, 15 percent of the people that are going to clip that sand right there. And what I what we found is and a teammate were working on this hole for the wind adjustment. It appears that on this drive, we need to take off 20 percent of the wind. So if you got a three wind, I'm going to play it as a 2.4. I'm going to actually take some wind out off. I'm going to do max. Get a little bit of that. I'm going to come at it so that I'm out in that area. I want to be about two rings off. So it's 3.5. So that would be 7. So that would be 2.8. That's about a ring and a half. Hitting it perfect. Now watch where that second bounce is, and it's going to be right dead center in the middle. And so that's right where I aimed it. And what we found was is that when we were doing full wind adjustments, and that would have been pretty close to just a three, uh, excuse me, a two ring adjustment. So that was a half a ring. And what we found is is that if you hit it perfect, you're still pretty fine if you start in the center. But if you hit it great to the right, that that great to the right is going to put you in the sand if, you, if your second bounce isn't beyond the sand. And so it's really easy to end up in the sand. I see a lot of people end up in the sand on this tournament on that shot. Usually the shot going into the green, everybody does pretty good on. But that shot right there, you know, right at max club, which is 1.2 per ring. I'm putting my white ring up. I'm gonna put my white ring up right on the. I'm gonna put my clear ring up on that transition. Four seven one point two. There's four eight. That's a four ring pull. I'm gonna put max curl. Hitting it perfect. And I'm always like that, like that close. Like just like when I take the shot to the right coming in, I'm always like within these four squares. I'm hardly ever on the other side. If you wanted a better shot at it, you could, you'd could. you want to scoot it across the top so that it engages more of the hill. So when it comes back down to the hole, it has a little more speed. But in order to do that, you got to push closer to the tree, tree line, which really isn't a problem as long as you don't hit a super great to the left or make a bad wind adjustment. Let's see how my opponent does. They're coming at it from the left. And hit a great to the right. Ooh, almost in the hole. And you can see how much of a backward there is. So if you're coming at it from the left, you've got to contend with that the steepest part of that backboard. In one-on-one -on -one play, I play this hole a lot with a marlin, but normally in my bag I'll have a uh, 
a guardian but you can get it done with the with any of those any any wood you can get it done with ideally I wouldn't want to be bringing a big dog here just because you don't have any ball guide the more ball guide you have the better all right that was hole number 15 of the city of lights that's hole number six of park de Paris. thanks for watching